And the truth yeah. of the matter is, like you said, that if it's one in three South Africans mm. who are bearing marks like this, mm. we don't see them. Yeah. And and often there's this misplaced shame that yeah. you spoke about yeah. put on the woman who feels yeah. shameful about her yeah. abuse when yeah. really she shouldn't feel shame at all. Exactly. So exactly. So what do you say to women in situations like that? Where can they get help? Get out. Get out. Go to somewhere like the South Department Center Centre in Athlone. And this is an amazing refuge for women and children who've been victims of abuse. And in fact, all investments which come into our Thunder Fund site today and tomorrow, Women's Day, um, there'll be 10% will be given to the South Department Centre. So there are many initiatives like this. Speak to rape crisis um, and report it to the police. Most of these rapes are not reported. They're very, very underreported. And this is partly because only one in ten result in a conviction. So obviously we need to also look at policing. But don't keep quiet about it. I know it's easy for me to say, but find help. Don't don't bear the marks alone. Now let's speak about the film Whiplash. Yeah. If all goes according to plan, yeah. when can we expect to see it in theatres? So we are planning to film it next March, March 2015, and we're really hoping to launch it for next Women's Day. So exactly a year from now, Women's Day 2015 um, is when we'd like to get it out there to the public. Now, Meg, this isn't your first foray into mm. filmmaking or, or media at all, mm. but mm. why is this particular film, I mean, why are you dressing up like this and walking 26 kilometers yeah. for this film? It's a real passion project for me. When I first read Tracy Farron's novel, Whiplash, I was just blown away. It was like I saw every scene unfolding before my eyes. It was just extraordinary. Um, Tess, who's the main character, is just She's, she's broken, but she's a warm-hearted young woman. And I just found myself really rooting for her and really going with her on a journey towards shedding this misplaced shame, towards finding her inner dignity. And Tess is a prostitute, but she could be any young woman. It's just that I think the kind of violence that she experiences is a kind of, it's so extreme, but it's a kind of barometer for where South Africa's at. Um, and her journey is really one of finding her inner dignity, finding something in herself to love. And I just rooted with her. She's also, what's great about Whiplash is no one wants to watch a doom and gloom story, one that's so bleak that it's going to leave you feeling awful for ages and ages. No one wants to watch a movie like that. It's got to, there's got to be some levity, some warmth, some hope. And what I love about this story is that it's so warm at its core and it leaves you feeling hopeful. It leaves you actually believing that the human spirit is invincible and um, that there's a lot to hope for. And actually that was a real sense that I got today as well. Although there were some wolf whistles, I mean, I look horrific, I don't look sexy. The wolf whistles are weird. There was some laughter, especially from men. But the overwhelming response was one of, can I help you? People were wanting to take me to the hospital. I had people who turned around in their cars and I just, it made me forget all the wolf whistles and all the nonsense because I just really saw that South Africans at their core are loving and warm and concerned. And when I explained to people what I was doing, because I was quick to, I didn't want to keep up the pretense. If someone asked me, I was quick to say, no, this is an intervention. This is for Women's Day. This is because we're raising awareness for the film. And people were, really got it. Mm. They said, yes, that's what we need. We need to be talking about it. And that filled me with a tremendous amount of hope.